Uh, really, a really sort of caring, nice guy, but also quite evil and wicked at the same time, if that makes sense. He'd always have time for people and his fans and friends, but then on the, the flip side, if you got on the wrong side of him, as me and Fergie sometimes could, and you got one of his legendary sunshine speeches, then you could really see a different side of, you know, this, this, this really nice guy. <laughs> But it was normally sort of your own fault, to be fair. It was, it was something that me and Fergie would still laugh about now. And if you, there were some great examples of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, Fergie leaving the, re, the, the trade record bag behind, the special record bag that came to trade. We still argue about who left that bag, but I'm blaming him all day long. And you got this angry, angry guy, and he'd start the, sun, the, the uh, sentence with, sunshine like this and we always you knew you were in trouble when that when that came up every time you know it was so funny he was always humble to the crowd and fans and i think people will always say that you know for what you saw as a clubber and as a promoter he was always very professional i don't think he ever came across as sort of a diva or he, he never had that sort of quality about him in terms of what he did as a business um, I think he always understood that the professionalism about it. Um, it was very rare that he'd he wouldn't drink when he was DJing, you know. He wouldn't, you know, which was again, you know. I look back at different DJs and different eras, and you know, you had people, you know, you know. And I was really the person who sort of jumped on the sword with that one. To be fair, so <laughs> I did it well, I think. Uh, but yeah, he was always the, the, the professional. He took it very seriously. The two, I suppose, the two most iconic times in the studio were myself and Fergie were actually here at the Custard Factory when Are You Already was made. We were both sat in the studio uh, and saw that, you know, give, saw him give birth to that and saw him get very excited with turning on the big speakers. Come on, come and have a listen to this and he was, you know, that was a very excitable moment for him because I know I remember when he was sort of really itching to get the sample licensed and stuff. That was a really big, big moment. And then obviously the final moment was in, in the studio for the dawn. 